first start off by saying that I'm not a politician. So I may not know protocol, but I am a preacher. There you go. And uh, I stand here this afternoon to not defend traditional marriage, but to oppose Senate Bill 116. And I see this from a different viewpoint, and I'd like to express that in the three minutes that I have. The first thing that I, I see is that we are debating and arguing over a law for an institution that was established before laws ever were brought into play. As a biblicist, when I read the scriptures, I see in Genesis chapter 2 that God ordained the institution of marriage and man finds his unity and completion through someone of the opposite sex, the woman. We're told, as has been said earlier, that for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. The two shall become one flesh. Now from this we find heterosexual couples are God's natural order for creation for marriage. Now whether you read the Old Testament or the New Testament, the subject of sexuality is discussed. The heterosexual relationship of marriage is always upheld. There's no other option. And so for this matter, the Lord Jesus says, he who made them at the beginning made them male and female. And for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Now there are those who want to have this separation not only for themselves, <coughs> but as a legal right for anyone who so chooses. Not everyone believes the Bible account, I understand, yet history itself shows that this was how it was from the beginning, just as scripture states. Now how do we know what is right or wrong? Can we simply vote on morality? If this bill passes, what's next? Will we pack this room to argue other issues? We're climbing a slippery slope. Those who argue against the traditional view of marriage call us intolerant, but this is beyond just tolerance. They are demanding over-tolerance. If there's no line to stand by, then maybe another group can come along and introduce another bill. For example, those who want polygamous marriages should be allowed to marry more than one partner. Whether to say it must be for one couple only, this can go beyond a man and a woman, a woman to a woman, or a man to a man. They have to have equal rights as well. What if a father wants to marry his daughter, or two brothers marry, a brother or a sister marry each other? It's illegal today, but under this type of legislation, no one would be arguing gender discrimination. In conclusion, we have to understand that this type of argument was never considered 20 years ago, but yet here we stand. And the arguments I just gave you may seem preposterous, but think 20 years in the future. It's a moral issue, and I recommend to this committee that you let it remain as it is and keep it the way it is. Thank you.